Hello ladies and gentlemen, The Cider Drinker here, and I am back with another Cider Top 10 for you guys. Weren't, you, weren't expecting uh, one so soon, were you? Well, with thanks to Mike Needs over at Facebook for suggesting this little concept, this is going to be a sort of a, a mini-series where I'm going to count down um, my top 10 ciders that are listed on Untapped, but over the uh, different categories. So, for those of you that don't know what Untapped is, it's an app that you can get on your phone like this, where it, um, you can basically post pictures up of the beers and ciders that you're drinking, give them a review, add new friends and see what they're drinking, get recommendations for breweries and everything, you earn badges, which basically aren't really worth anything, but it's a good collector's thing. And it's just a good, uh, it's a good way of just checking on what, um, you know, what beers and everything you've had in the past, because, you know, you look at a massive beer board and you think, have I had that before? You check on tap and you go, yes, I have, and I quite liked it. I'll have a pint of that, please. So with that said, uh, with the concept of ciders on Untapped, because it is obviously mainly a beer reviewing app, but it does do cider categories, it's got seven different categories um, that they've put for ciders. Um, the most common one is Cider Other, so I think it's like a work in progress. However, I am going to start with dry ciders. So um, this will be a countdown of the top 10 highest rated ciders that I've had that are considered dry according to Untapped here. Um, so this is going to include uh, beer festival um, ciders that I've had as well. So you might see some that you've never heard of before and I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's do it. Yeah, rating high to low. And obviously it's going to include all types of serving things as well. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, okay. So, to start off this little mini-series with the top 10 dry ciders according to Untapped, at uh, number 10, with a rating of 8 out of 10, I've only had this once, I had this while I was in Brewdog. And it is Hawks and I believe it's Oliver Ciders all made equal. Uh, let's see if I can get a picture up for you guys because I like taking photos. There we go. So that's, um, there we go. So that's Oliver's and Hawks's all made equal cider, obviously, in, um, in a brewdog glass, uh, I put it's um, yeah. It was just a really nice, well balanced dry cider. Got some nice funky tart apple flavours behind it. Um, obviously, I've not actually done a review of this one yet because I've not managed to get one. Um, you know, get one of get one available to, to do a proper full review. So not going to go into too many details about it. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's number ten. Number nine uh, is a very recent one actually. And uh, it is sent from New Zealand, and if you know um, know all about that, it is going to be Peckham's Motorary Cider. I have done a review of this one. Um, unfortunately, the lighting isn't that great, but um, you can sort of see see if I can turn the brightness off. There we go. Because um, I know some guy said, "Oh, why don't you put?" Um, you know, pictures with the ciders up on the background or something. Well, unfortunately, I only have Windows Movie Maker on my PC, so that's a very limited thing. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to do that, so you're just gonna have to bear with the old phone screen pictures, I'm afraid. But yes, that also scored an eight out of 10 from me, and I have obviously done a review of it, so uh, if you wanna check it out, I'll probably pop in cards. I pointed at the wrong corner last time, so I'm not even gonna bother. So, uh, number eight, this one also got, um, an 8 out of 10 from me, and it is a cider you can get from the supermarkets right now. It's Weston's Capel Road Blend Number no. 3, and for the price that you can pay for this, it's a really, really decent dry cider. Uh, as I said, not going to go into too much detail about it, because, you know, uh, I'll either review it in the future, or I have already done a review, so if you do want to know my full opinions on it, obviously check out the reviews. So... What was that one? Uh, 10, 9, 8. So number seven, most of these have actually scored eight out of tens, but I don't know how it actually 
rates them on this style, but this is how Untapped have done it. So uh, number seven uh, goes to Turner's Russet Cider. I mean, Turner's Cider Company are a fantastic company anyway, and um, from what I remember, their Russet Cider was really, really good, but insanely strong. This is eight, um, I think 8.5% ABV. So yeah, it's about as strong as a cider can get. Uh, it, yeah, really excellent lovely dry cider and uh well that's obviously why it's made the uh, top 10 list so number six uh, this one blimey i have not had this one uh, for a long time i've had it twice and you can get it from supermarkets as well but it is henny's dry cider and this is um it's not as readily available over the old um, supermarkets now, but if you can find it, it's a really great cider that you can get from the supermarkets, and it's a great um, store-bought dry cider as well. Some lovely um, treacly notes in it as well. Um, yeah, I think I did a review on this one quite a while ago, so, I mean, I haven't even got that Sandford Orchards glass anymore, so that just shows you. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Check out Henny's Dry Cider. I believe that was um, eight, seven. So, yeah, over to number five. And this is one of the most recent uh, dry ciders that I had, and it's from France. It is KSX's Brut Cidre Breton Traditional. Uh, and it comes in a lovely little bottle there, but you can get it in bigger sizes as well. Really great example of, um, of a cidre here. Um, lovely classic example, I think it's like a, I think it was a Brittany, uh, Brittany style cedra, and it was a really well made one as well. Uh, again, done a full review of it, so check that out. Uh, that one scored a 9 out of 10, there we go, so we're definitely going up in the old um, ratings here. Now, here we go, this is uh, the first cider that I had at a, uh, oh no I didn't, I had it at the, uh, the Williams Ale and Cider House over in London as uh, one of the tasters, and um, yeah, it was a different one, but it was Cockeyed Ciders Mad Jack. There you go. That's the um. Oh, let's see if it can uh, see if it can focus there. There you go. Cockeyed Ciders Mad Jack. Um, now some people say that it's not a real cider, but I mean, it was really really not lovely tasting, and um, yeah, I know there's been a little bit of controversy about maybe the labelling of, of it and everything, but the cider itself was absolutely fantastic. Uh, if I do ever get a chance to actually get a... I don't even think they do it in um, cans or anything, but if they do, I'll be sure to look out for it. Um, so we're up to number three. So that now we're getting into the really, really good stuff. So this is um, Sheppy's Kingston Black. Here we go, it's Sheppy's Kingston Black. Do you know what, I'm not even sure Sheppy's do this one anymore because they're constantly changing their range. But if they do, it is a fantastic example of a single variety Kingston Black cider. I've had quite a lot, but according to this, this is um, the highest rated Kingston Black cider that I've got over on Untapped. Obviously I've had more before I got Untapped, but this is uh, the one that is rated the highest so yeah definitely look out for it Sheppies are a really good company and they really do a really good uh, kings to black cider and uh the top two the top two are from dunkerton's because uh, my stipulations don't apply to this it all depends on what is on untapped so you are probably going to see multiple ciders from the same company and it's happened here so number two is uh dunkerton's black fox which i've had so many times now uh, you've probably seen this label quite a lot on my channel and elsewhere. You can get it in your local Waitrose stores. In fact, I picked up a bottle not too recently, so I'm definitely going to enjoy that. And for a, for a, a cider that you can buy in the supermarket, there's nothing else quite like it. It is a superb dry cider. Um, Again, I've obviously done a full review of this, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Just... If you do see it and you haven't tried it, definitely, definitely give it a go. It is fantastic. Obviously, got top marks from me, so there you go. And, uh, yeah, the number one spot is another Dunkerton Cider, and it is their single variety Breakwell Seedling Cider. A um, little bit hard to see the label there, but it's a very traditional label on this. Uh, it, is, it is just on a, another level to uh, Black Fox. I mean, the Black Fox is superb, but their breakable seedling was just, as I said, on another level when it comes to um, dry ciders. Uh, so, I mean, just 
reading all these different notes. I put floral, perfumey, complex, melon, orange. It's yeah, so many different tastes coming from one different one one sort of apple, and it's just ooh, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. So uh, yeah, if you see any of these 10 ciders out and about that I have just mentioned, definitely do yourself a service and buy a bottle or can or half pint or whatever of it, and I'm guaranteed that you are going to absolutely love it if you love dry ciders. So, that is the first top 10 of, um, of the untapped series, I suppose you could say, so uh, watch out next time. I believe the next one is going to be medium ciders, so watch out for that. But until then, hope you enjoy this uh, little countdown, and uh, yeah, again, thanks to Mike Needs for the suggestion, and I'll see you on the next Cider Drinker video. Take care, guys. Till next time.